Our stepladder begins with a match of B.J. Moore and Matt O'Grady. And that is just, just a great person. Made two appearances on TV in the 2016 World Series of Bowling. He was on the winning team in USA versus Chef Tommy Jones beat him there. And was fourth in the Cheetah Championship and did not make it into the finals. That's got to hurry. And he broke up a sleeper back there to leave a single pin. This young man right here, B.J. Moore, wow. And he really came on late in match play to elbow his way into this show. Nope. Heard him say nope, and that looked like almost the same with Seed the last eight games of match play. So he's 2-2 two two with that. And I never thought he was that heavy to begin with. Right, I didn't either. But he is in premium shape and has really spent the last several weeks devoting himself to his workouts. Beautiful. I'm talking about just uh, open shoulders and then that big snapping of the wrist and elbow at the bottom of the swing. Lay off. He asked for it to lay off. Makeable for a professional. Yes, sir! Lap here as he might have thought that O'Grady would leave something on the deck. Okay, three in a row, same lead. Immediate left. As this will be three and three, but 90 degree angle to walk through those famous doors at Riviera today. Oh my God! I thought that was flush. Been converted on television in the history of the tour. And a bang it! Oh. And uh, ball rat. Trying to get a little intel. There's a sweep away of the to be mentioned that is that Matt and BJ Moore are real good friends and they're actually bowling the Marshall Holm and Mark Roth doubles together. As they did a year ago. That's a little light and leaves a sleep. And who would have announced it if we made the show anyway? That right? would have been another dilemma, so best we didn't do it. Seven for seven. This is pretty much LeBron's hometown right around here. There you go, B.J. Moore. Oh, another good look. Come on. You had to, to feel for Matt Sanders, too. Yes. Pulled his heart out, made the 3-7, as you mentioned, and then... Needed a hit and goes big four to miss the, the telecast. Good looking ball there. That's raw power from eight games of match play in this event. Kyle Troop has been on fire. Yeah, he didn't miss by much. And he seems so comfortable when he is out there now. No, oh, Lord. Left. Yeah. Good break. Those lanes look familiar to you, those who watched it back in the day. They are the fame. Oh, hey, that one, Randy. We want to call. In fact, Matt O'Grady's thumb was so tight, once during league, he hung up, the ball went through the ceiling tile, <laughs> came down, hit him in the head, and actually knocked him out for 10 seconds. Nope. Uh, that took a hard... Riviera, and I hung up in my spare ball and actually missed a five. Oh, boy, that's one. Oh, he got it the hard way. But he is. They're going for their first major championships. These guys are regional champions, qualified to get into the tournament of champions. And... Now look at him. You see the max scores. O'Grady with an 18-pin advantage in the max. That's pretty good. You're right, BJ. That's 10 straight back. So far. Well, there's a clear demark of the ball. And suddenly he likes the left. Got to go. Wow, did that ever go? In the 10th. Again, the max for BJ is 212. Let's see what Lincoln's dad can do here. 
Remember the two terrible breaks for B.J. Moore on this left lane. Oh, boy. That one. Going to be aggressive with this and almost got a bounce. Jason Belmonte. Well, I'll tell you what. Matt O'Grady is up for the task, and he's not going to shy away from a challenge. No, well, he said it earlier. Not worth it if it's easy. <laughs> that was the last three games and still held on to first. That's how far ahead he was. As O'Grady will put the finishing touches on a victory. For the next match will be Matt O'Grady looking for his first major championship against a man who's looking for his 10th. Jason Belmonte, Matt O'Grady, our next match when we return to historic Riviera.